we are going to be ranking, tiering, if you will, 240 different tracks from the Pokemon franchise. There are a few things that I want to preface beforehand as well, right? First and foremost, I couldn't include everything. There are so, so many different tracks in the Pokemon franchise in total that if I were to include literally every single one from every single route, uh, every single town, every single cave, it, there would be too many. I wouldn't be able to do this all in one night. Um, so I decided to limit it down to 30 per generation. But yeah, so 240 songs. And I have taken these songs from the definitive version of each generation in my opinion all right i consider the fire red and leaf green version of kanto to be the definitive kanto and then also i thought it was kind of nice to add some more retro uh game boy style sound just to kind of diversify it there are a couple consistencies across generations i did include every single rival theme I included every single gym theme, uh, every single Elite Four theme, champion theme, Route 1 theme, bike slash ride theme, and every single main legendary theme. That's all the quote unquote rules. We're going to start at the very beginning, guys, at the literal beginning with Oak's Lab. I remember this. This is, you know, it's, cl it's a classic. Okay, it's, got, it's a loop, obviously. It's got maybe like a 27 second loop, but it's satisfying. I think I'm gonna stick it in C for now. It doesn't even feel like nostalgic necessarily, right? Like sometimes you listen to a song and you're like, yeah, I remember when I first, you know, picked my starter Pokemon, but th that doesn't do it for me. It doesn't bring me back. And I think that kind of docks at a lot of points as early route songs, you know, should kind of kind of bring you back. So I'm gonna put Oak's Lab in C tier. Oh. Okay, number two, the second song we're going to, guys, Ho-Oh theme song from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Just the drums. It's so good. It's so good because you can hear his cry, and then right after, like, right before it, there's, like, the bell chiming, and it's so, like... Mm, like I'm actually fighting something really, really important, really legendary, you know? For me personally, I think I'm going to put it in A for now. It might actually get bumped up to S, but again, we'll, we'll kind of see how it feels, okay? Team Magma slash Team Aqua. Not the base. Yeah, this one's good. Maybe it's just because I'm a Hoenn boy. And like... I think it's just because I'm a Hoenn boy, but this gets me really hyped. I get really hyped. And it's all of the Team Aqua slash Magma songs, I think, are just super fire. It's so good. And honestly, I'm, I'm going to put it in A. I'm going to put it with Battle Ho-Oh. I definitely like it more than Battle Ho-Oh. But I think that the S, certainly the S+, plus, is going to be reserved for the like cream of the crop, top of the top. Okay, taking it a little bit slower with Eterna Forest. And I don't think I need to explain this song. I don't think I need to explain it. Cause I already know where I'm gonna put it. It sounds simple, but I have done just an unbelievable amount of homework slash editing to Eterna Forest in the rain. And it really makes you feel like you're in kind of a, a weird, creepy, ghostly forest. And you have to guide this adult for some reason. Uh, personally, I think Eterna Forest is absolutely worth an S tier. It's probably one of the best like forest songs, you know? It really is that good. Ooh, and we're, we're sticking, we're sticking with the stuff that's going to hit our emotions. Next up is, uh, emotion. This is just, that, that's it, man. And I think it just hits even harder. I feel like this is one of the most iconic, like, Pokemon, I don't want to say sad songs, but it does exactly what the title of the song suggests 
Um, yeah, no, I think Emotion also is an easy S tier, because this is like the epitome. I didn't even know what this was from, but I was like, oh, this is that song, you know? Sycamore. I remember, I remember liking this theme a lot. Um, I've played through X and Y very sparingly, but it really gives off like a nice vibe, I think. It doesn't even necessarily sound like a Pokemon theme either. You know, like I could be listening to this like on the street and feel like like it fits, you know? And I think that gives off this super crazy um, Kalos vibe. I don't think it's like, oh my God, you know? But I do think it's good enough to put an A. I think it uses a lot of different like instruments as well. Um, but yeah, Sycamore's theme, I think it's just an A. Um, it is really good. I think it's good. I think this one's good. Wild Encounter SM. There it is. I knew it was a Corsola. I knew it was a Corsola. I think I'm going to give it a B tier. I think it's good. I think it's on the better side of the Wild Encounter themes, um, but I don't think it's anything too spectacular. It almost gave me a little, like, Goldenrod City vibe at first. Okay. This is actually better than I thought it was. It's not incredible. It's not going anywhere above B. I, I also agree. I think the sax absolutely does carry that song. I think that's a great point. Um, I do like it less than the Wild Encounter Sun and Moon, but I do like it more than Oak's Lab. And I have to give it credit because it does sample a lot of different, like, light motifs from other songs. Like, just random Pokemon songs. Like, I heard a little bit of Goldenrod in there. Um, that's not the only one that I, That's the one I can name off the top of my head. Um, but there's definitely some other, like, classic Pokemon things stuck in there. Oh, we're going right for the bike theme. The Kanto bike theme. God, I know what it sounds like, obviously. <laughs> And I, I hate to do it specifically to Kanto because we're pulling all of Kanto's music from Fire Red and Leaf Green specifically. It, I think it's better than Oak's Lab, but I think it's I think it's still C tier because it's definitely worse than the Wild Encounter and Motostoke. And in fact, I, I might even bump Oak's Lab down to D tier, but I, I feel too bad about that. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Bug catching in National Park. This feels like you're in a contest. See this, okay, this is the and, and, But then it picks up. It, it, it subverts your expectations. It's definitely better than bike theme. So I, I'm, it, it's in the BC area. I almost want to put it in B, but I think it actually fits better higher in C. Cause as we get more and more songs on this list, um, it's going to be a little top heavy, I think, because Pokemon music is just insanely good. Um, oh no. Oh no. I'm going to get in my feels. Oh no. I'm just going to go grab it. I'm just going to go grab it because the song can absolutely just make me cry. I'm a Hoenn guy. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know what to tell you. And then just, it's at first it's so good. And then you're like my heart. I I truly, and it might be bias, it really might be bias, but to me, like, this is the hometown theme. And that, that might be because, like, the Hoenn games were some of my first, and I remember just being younger. And I even like the uh, Ruby Sapphire Emerald version better, but this version itself as well, it's definitely S tier. I personally like it more than Emotion. I think I might like it more than Eterna Forest. Because it, it gives me more feels than a turn of forest, I think. Next up, we got, oh, the Sinnoh Elite Four theme. This makes me think of Renegade Platinum, honestly. This part's pretty good. 
this little, like, lull, and then it's just... How it comes up and... Okay, that part, that's the best part of the song, is the little, like... Dun, 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 dun. And I absolutely respect the absolute crap out of this song, um, but I really... Do I like it more than Magma Battle? I don't. And I also don't like it more than Battle Ho-Oh, -Oh or, or Sycamore's theme. <laughs> Actually, um, but I think it's it's leagues better than the Wild Encounter of Sun and Moon. Ends Farewell, right back to N. We got N Emotion, and now Ends Farewell. It kind of hits all the same vibes as emotion. And it does feel climactic and like a farewell. I always want to give points to a song that fits like the moment slash the area. And this fits the moment very, very well for N. And it just kind of, yeah, the swell. I'm really glad we waited for the swell. I think it was gonna go in A tier regardless. And I think I do like it more than um, at least Sycamore and the Elite Four. It is really good though. It is, of the like quote unquote sad Pokemon songs, it is really good. Back over to Kalos. This is one that I couldn't tell you um, from the top of my head, but it was suggested to me. Okay. All right. It's low key. It's definitely low key. It's not gonna, it doesn't like hit you in the face. At least not yet. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah. I, I think that um, the majority of chat is pretty right about this one. I think Geosenge Town is for sure top of B. Actually, I, you know, I like it less than Motostoke. <laughs> Cause now I like just remembering the sacks. I think that it's actually bottom of B for now. Obviously we're gonna get to a lot more different songs. How's rival battle theme? This is the initial rival battle theme. This is not his challenger theme from Ultra Sun and Moon, okay? This this makes me think of Pokemon Showdown, man. I'm gonna overrate any song that's included on like the random battle like showdown list, you know? Not at all my favorite rival battle theme. Not at all. The little bounce in the background, pretty good. But I feel like it doesn't like find out what it wants to be yet. I think I'm gonna put that right underneath the wild encounter, uh, underneath the wild encounter theme. Cause I think I like the wild encounter theme more, but I do think in general that that song gets a little bit of points um, just for the fact that it's also on like the showdown song list, you know? Back over to Galar, guys. Back over to Galar. And Galar has some of the craziest music of all time. They really went hard. I don't have a lot of goods to say about Sword and Shield, but, like, this is... This is a good one. I like the, the beginning. It's not better than Motostoke. I do like it more than Geosenge, because I really like the, uh... I really like the bass in there, like the little the little slap they got going on. I really do think that that adds a lot to the song. I think the song sucks until this part. I think personally, I think it's at the bottom of B for me. Um, I want to respect it more, obviously. I, I, I don't feel like it's what it is, you know? Um, but that's my take. You know, obviously you guys are welcome to think what you want and then, you know, create your own list with the exclamation point list command, which will bring up the document I'm using as well as the tier list that I created. Whoa, guys. Whoa. If you want to support the channel, you already know what to do. All right, Silver. Show me, show me what you got, dude. Show me what you got. Okay, yup. This, it is good. 
it, it, it is good. Yeah, and this part of the song is for sure iconic. For sure. I think I'm going to put it at the top of A. Um, because I still don't see it as an S-tier song personally. Uh, I'm going to say that a lot, obviously. It's super, it's a heavy bop. Obviously, it's very good. Definitely at the top of a lot of the rival themes. All right, where are we going? Where are Maxi Archie? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hef, your hoeing is showing. Put it away. Put it away. Maxi and Archie? Guys. Guys. I can't. I cannot. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh come on. Just the, everything about it. And it just builds over and over again. It's so climactic. It's such a great, it is. I think it's S plus. It just gets me so hyped. I can't. It's going to S plus. It's going to S plus right now. Cause who decided to go that hard? Who decided to go that hard? Somebody's in the studio cooking it up. It's the first S plus because it's it's villainous. It's climactic. It constantly builds and builds and builds and makes you really feel like you're you're encountering somebody with terrible intentions for the world. Does, coming from Maxi Archie right to Snowpoint City, uh, that's certainly interesting. It's very simple. It feels simple, but there's a lot of layers here eventually. I don't, does it go any harder than this? I can't remember. I haven't really spent too much time in Snowpoint City. Oh, I'm glad we stuck around. Even though this part's not incredible. Uh, it's a little too simple. I think it encapsulates like an ice town with like the bells and kind of the quietness. Um, for certain, better than Palette. Uh, it's kind of it kind of has the Geosenge Town vibes to it. You know, like you might want to hang out and listen. But, like, also, like, you're not really missing out on a ton if you don't. So, I think that middle of B is pretty solid for Snowpoint. Okay. All right. We'll just do it. We'll do it now. We'll do it now, guys. We'll, we'll do it now. All right. We're just going to... You guys already know the song. You guys already know the song. Obviously, it's the Furret Walk meme. So, let's just do it. And it goes hard right there. It does. The drop is pretty nice. It does have that sort of evergreenness. Like you can listen to it for a long time and not get sick of it. Hence the fur at me. Um, so on principle, I am going to put it in A tier. And I do like it better overall than the Sinnoh Elite 4. Um, but I don't like it better than anything above it. And it, it, it fits, it fits the location very well. It's very mysterious, kind of exploratory. It doesn't go hard in the paint like some things. Certainly not. Is this really all there is to it? Oh, no. You know what it almost sounds? It almost sounds like a mystery dungeon theme. Like, it almost sounds like Reflection Cave is a dungeon in, like, the original Mystery Dungeon, and that's its song. I do like it better than the bug catching, but I don't feel right putting it in B tier. Solgaleo or Lunala? That little hit. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. I think overall, I like it less than the Ho-Oh. 
I do like it less than Ho Oh. Um, uh, I do think that. I think bottom of A is fair. I think bottom of A is fair. I definitely like it more than the regular Wild Encounter theme. Um, but I don't think I can go any higher than that. But the regular trainer battle in Galar. Um, okay. I do like the shred of the guitar. Really don't like how it starts, though. This part's not bad. Yeah, and it's even a little bit better when it... It samples a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure that it's somewhere in B. I like it less than Geosenge, but I like it a little more than Palatine. This is the Kanto Pokemon Mansion. This Yeah, I think it's, this is the best Kanto quote-unquote cave slash dungeon theme. I love the little, like, technological it's twinkle in the background. And the, because that's like such a, yeah, it's pretty good. And it's like, oh my god, like, what's happening? And you're, like, reading about Mewtwo killing all these scientists and stuff. It is definitely very good. I think it's definitely setting the mood. I think it's a great Kanto, like, dungeon theme. And then on top of that, like, the technological aspects, like, all of that is is really neat uh, listening to it. And I think it also goes really well with, like, just the sound design. I think, I think just right above Accumulatown. I don't like it more than Sycamore's theme. I don't like it more than anything above it, but I think that's the cutoff there. I think the Pokemon Mansion's actually super, like, highly slept on. There it goes, boys. There it goes. National Park. This one, I believe, is a certified bop. The piano's so good. It's so good. It's so good. You're spending time with your Pokemon, man. I think it's an S tier. I think it's it's below all of the other S's, but I don't feel right putting it in A. Not not a high S, but an S nonetheless. Okay. We're on Route 113. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, Route 13 is the one that is north of Mount Chimney. It's the one with all the ash, where you find all the spindas, and then there's, like, the ninjas in the ground. It's different. It's super different. Is Aura region included? No, it's not. Um, we're only doing main series Pokemon games, despite Aura being an absolute based region. Maybe when we do the Pokemon spin-off music tier list, we'll get to Ore and include Mirror B in S tier. All right. I don't think I'm going to put it in S tier. Uh, I think I like it less, actually, than Pokemon Mansion overall. But I think it's, it's a, it's a mid-A. It's a mid-A, and being a route theme, too, uh, that's pretty impressive for a route theme. We're going to Vealstone, but guys, we're not going during the day, okay? We're clubbing in Vealstone. We're going at night. It's funky. It gives me like Pirate Town vibes, you know? Pyrite, not Pirate. Did I say Pirate? We're going clubbing, boys. We're out on the town. We're just, you know, getting off work. Oh, the stop? Okay, all right. So this is what I'm going to do for Vealstone, because I think Vealstone is really good. I think Nighttime Vealstone is really solid. Uh, for sure, like it more than Accumula, because I certainly, I don't know about you guys, I enjoy jazz. I love the sax, um, and I really like the kind of like slow nighttime vibe of it. Rival Unova. Now, I've been playing through Blaze Black, okay? 
I don't know how I feel about Rival Unova. We're just going to take a listen to it. I have a couple things to say about it. It it doesn't exactly feel like a rival battle. When you compare it to something like the end rival battle theme, which is or like end's theme or whatever, which is super like heavy and kind of has stakes to it, this is very like, hi, I found you on the route. Let's battle. So friendly, you know? It doesn't feel high stakes at all. You know, you're on freaking victory road, and then this comes in and you're like, wait, like this is not intense at all. Like Charon's Pokemon are really strong right now. I'm almost thinking it's a C tier because I really don't like it. It doesn't fit what's happening, nor does it really fit like half the characters and you hear it a ton of times. Maybe it's because Gen 5 has just like ridiculous music all around, but I think that for being the rival theme, it's not that impressive. Oh, the t is this time? Oh, this is iconic. Wait a minute. This is, this is Mystery Dungeon right here. This sounds like a Mystery Dungeon theme with the, the bells. Like you forget that a lot of the music is from X and Y, but I was like, oh wait, Anastar City, like that's this song? And this song goes hard. I'm gonna put it somewhere at the top of B. Uh, I think it's not as good as Motostoke, but I think it is a better town theme than Snowpoint. Uh, oh, Challenger How. Okay, so we, we ranked we ranked regular How. This is How's Challenger theme, the defense theme. You become the champion in Ultra Sun and Moon, and who walks up to you? None other than your best buddy, How. And it starts classically. This is classic. I mean, okay, this beginning part, though, is fire. It is fire. But also, you're already at the summit. You're being challenged by somebody. You have to look at it like that. You know, you're not the one surmounting the mountain. You are the mountain. Somebody's trying to surmount you. And you're shoving them back down. And it kind of goes all over the place. Like, here's that. Here's how's theme. I, I don't think it hits A, necessarily. It's either the bottom of A... Or the top of B. If Sycamore is the S gatekeeper, I think that Challenger How is the the B, the B T or the A tier gatekeeper. Wild area from just the, the wild area from Galar. Okay. This is the one with the bagpipes, boys. Get ready. It's supposed it's grand and massive England Wilds. Bagpipes in Pokemon is pretty cool. If the wild area didn't suck so much, I might actually like this song. Bagpipes? Okay. I think the bagpipes are specifically carrying it. I'm going to put it right behind Anastar. Moving on. For those of you in the YouTube video, yes, everything's smaller. I resized everything. Just to include more of chat and then also more songs. Oh, it's Route 10. Oh, it's Route 10. Okay. Route 3 is Route 10. That's what that's what it is. Okay. It's the same it's the same song. This is the I'm traveling through Kanto theme. Why doesn't the image have the cut trees? That's a great question. I don't know. No, whoop! I can hear the ledges. I can hear the ledges. Whoop. I mean, it is the definitive I think it's the definitive Kanto route theme. I think there's one that's better than it, though, which we'll get to later. So I don't want to put it, like, the top of the top. Um, it's definitely nostalgic. It definitely is, like, the I'm traveling through early Kanto theme. I hate doing this, guys. I think I'm going to put it the bot or like sort of the bottom of B. I'm going to bump Pallet Town down. And, in fact, I'm going to put Pallet Town behind the rival battle in Unova. This one was suggested to be put in the list. It kind of gives me some DPP vibes. 
It doesn't sound like Johto. It sounds kind of like Sinnoh. Definitely good. Definitely good. Again, I don't know if it's better than Challenger Hal. I think it, it's it's lower B tier because it's good, but it's also a route theme. And there's also like really not that much to do on that route. We're going back to Hoenn, and I got to tell you, I already know where I want to put this. I love this theme a lot. Uh, I'd listen to this just like on my own time. I can't. If I had my say, guys, I, which I do, the song is so good. I'm putting it above National Park, but lower than Emotion. That's, that's as far as I can hold it back. This is one of the songs that I listen to the most. Out of all Pokemon music, it's it's that song. I'll have that playing in the background as I'm just like doing shit. I'll have it in my headphones. Like, you guys should know where we're going by now as well because it is right up there and we're going right to Jubilife. Sinnoh people? Sinnoh lovers? No, this isn't the XY version. This is the regular Gen 4 nighttime version, actually. But I still think that regular Jubilife City is certainly good. I think I'm going to put it underneath... I'm going to put it underneath Veilstone, but above Accumula. It's good. It's good. I'm, I am a Sinnoh boy, because like most of my hours of Pokemon were either in Ruby or Pokemon Pearl, I think. Jubilife City was not the hitter for me of Sinnoh. We're going to Unova. And uh, this is only in black and white too. This song was another one that was recommended to be put in. It's good. It's not iconic because you don't spend any time at all in jo uh, no, Joint Avenue. <laughs> and then you just keep walking on through it in Mbasa City to challenge Elisa. Am I really going to put this in C tier? I feel like I am. I feel like I am going to put this in C tier. It's a little jazzy. Like, it's got some some neat, like, things in there. But I don't think it's that incredible. I'm going to put it at the top of C. Kalos bike slash roller skating theme. It's so hype, actually. This is the, I'm going around Lumio City because I'm lost. It feels like an anime ending, almost. Or like a, sli a slice of life anime's ending. And I think that's a good thing. Callus bike theme is actually really good. I think it surpasses Challenger How. Because it's such a little piece, but it's it's really good. One of the better bike themes, for sure. It, make, it makes you want to ride your own bike and just kind of listen to it and like go around the city or something, you know? Um, we're going to Iki Town. You guys are like, wait, where the hell's Iki Town? I also had that same thought, but it's actually the first town. Iki Town, though, I feel like it's trying to be more than it actually is. I think it does good things. I don't think it does great things. I'm going to put it right underneath Pallet Town, I think. It brings you back to the beginning, and it's definitely, like, soothing. Like, I would definitely listen to that as I, like, did my homework or something. But I feel like, compared to the other, like, more emotional tracks, it, it doesn't have as many layers. And also, guys, you know, again, I usually don't do it. But I gotta tell you, Iki Town's day theme it sounds wrong. This is just not good. That's enough about Iki Town. That is not important at all.
This song's a bop. The jazziness of it? it? This song has no right to go as hard as it does for who it's playing for. Rose is better, brother. Well, Rose sucks himself, so... You know, it's not, it's not a high bar. Okay, so... Despite the high praise I give to the beginning of the song, that's the best part of the song. Is the the big sax swell at the very beginning. And then like just this for another like little bit. It's good. I like it more than the regular sword and shield trainer battle. Um but besides that, not really. All right, we're going to Canto Victory Road, guys. This one's this one goes this one's nice. It's simple, but it's effective. And it hits. I I think it's good. I don't think it's incredible, but I will say that of Canto songs, it's it's still pretty good because it's all about fitting the area or the moment and i think it fits the area and the moment over snow point but under the wild area i gotta tell you guys i gotta tell you I don't really like this one. Um, I don't know if it's because... I, I don't know why. I don't know why I don't like this one. Maybe it's because there's nothing to do in Cherry Grove or Mahogany. It's just... It's so bland. I don't know. And I feel like it's not as good as Reflection Cave. Or the Bug Catching Contest. But I think I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it above the bike theme of Kanto. And I'm going to move... I'm going to move Oak's Lab down. Yeah. Yeah. I... Something about it I just don't vibe with. I don't know what it is. Not a fan. Okay. We're back. <laughs> We're back. Steven's my favorite champion. Steel type's my favorite type. Yeah, this part slaps. I don't like it as much as Maxi Archie. I don't even think that's my Hoenn bias either. I, I don't think that's Hoenn bias. I think I just like it that much. Because Maxi Archie definitely feels like Hoenn bias to me. Champion Steven doesn't. I think Champion Steven, it, it, it's just good. It, it's just It just is solid. It was the th Cynthia's theme before it was Cynthia's theme, you know? You guys are gonna hate me. You guys are gonna hate me. I'm gonna give it a little more time. Try to let it simmer in my brain. Try to convince me otherwise. <sighs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I feel like it doesn't fit Cyrus. It's worse than the Grunt and the Commander themes. And then for a final villain who's really cool i like cyrus a lot this has nothing to do with cyrus bias i don't like the theme i like it more than the unova rival battle but not much more than that it's a vibe It's, it's a dirty city. It carries the same Vealstone City energy. They carry the same energy. 
I think I think Verbank is really good. It's definitely better than Challenger Hell. It's it's a little simple. I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it at the bottom of A, I think. Kalos Elite Four. Very interesting. I think this actually slaps though, guys. It even has the little like If they weren't so easy, this would be a f***ing bop. I'm waiting for it to drop the... Hopefully it does. Hopefully it's not a Cyrus. Yup, yup, there it is. Yeah, this is so good. It's so iconic. I, I like it a lot. I don't know. I don't care. While the battle may be over by this point, I don't think it matters because I think that... I think it's good. I I like it more than National Park. I do. I don't know if it's like in Smash. It might be in Smash, and that might be why I like it. Hyena Desert. It's so deserty. If this area didn't suck so much. It gives me desert vibes. It accomplishes what it sets out to do. Not that I'm saying it's fantastic. Because I don't think any desert music is, like, incredible. It's it's not a fantastic song. I think it just fits. You know, I think it's it's just good. A Galar Wild Battle. You can listen to it one time. You encounter your first wild Pokemon and you're like, oh, this is interesting. Like, okay, sure. You know, this is the route what they're going with. And then every time you encounter a wild Pokemon after it, you have to just like listen to it. And it's it's super annoying, especially the beginning of it. I think this is the first D tier. Or not the first D tier, but I think this is a D tier. And especially for people who are going to be like encountering multiple things all at once. You know, like if you're shiny hunting or something, like... I think it's bad. I, I think it's not good. I don't know. Kanto. Route 1. We're done. It doesn't get any better. In fact, it gets worse. I don't know, something about it. Even Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee still doesn't do it. And I think the like clicking or like the clucking that the music is, I am sorry. I'm sorry, Kanto. Th this is the grunts as well as the admins. There's no separate theme. For a rocket grunt? For a rocket grunt, guys. Rocket Grunt. It's really good. All right, so here's my take on the Rocket Grunts. I think it's an easy A tier, and I think it's better than... Do I like it more than Route 113? I think so. I think I like it less than Pokemon Mansion, but I think it deserves, it deserves mid A. All right, now, some people like this theme more than me. Uh, I, I don't know where I stand on it. Obviously, every time we're going to play... An Oras theme, people are going to be like, oh, RSE was better, which in this case it might be. Um, but this is Slayport City. Oh, yeah, definitely better than RSE. I like this more than I thought I would. Um, I think this is actually better than the uh, RSE one because I remember it being a little more obnoxious than RSE. I'm going to put it between Vealstone and Jubilife. Um, it's good for sure. The The loop, it, it's a little short. I will say right now that we don't have the Lily Cove theme in the in the Hoenn section. We just don't. We didn't have room for it, unfortunately. Or Duford, for that matter. There's plenty of tracks 
in the Pokemon series. I literally don't have time to do all of them. I apologize. This is only 240 of them. Only only 240, guys. Only 240. But this is the Deoxys or S theme. So alien like. This is better than Battle Ho oh. Damn. And this part. Remember Sycamore is the gatekeeper of S. And it's it's better than it's better than Sycamore's theme. It's it's better than Sycamore's theme. Uh I'm gonna put it I hate that. Look at the top four are Ho in tracks. I swear to God, we'll get there. I swear it won't always be Owen. Get ready. It's it's another evil team. It's Team Galactic. Again, it's just it's just stunkies, Zubats. But like, you don't get sick of listening to this theme over and over and over again, though. I don't think you do. It is for sure evergreen. All right, all right. So, I think I think it's better. I think it's better than Sycamore's theme. For a grunt theme, it's just, it's so impressive. Yep, that's where I'm putting it. That's where I'm putting it. I'm putting it above the Kalos Elite 4 and National Park. Relic Castle. This is a viewer suggestion. good i'll give it that again desert area so it's not going to be the most impressive theme in the world but it carries the energy and the exploration way better than hyena desert does maybe i'll put it at the very bottom of a i think i'm gonna put it at the very bottom over over solgaleo and lunala but still an all right ranking uh, no Legends Arceus in the list. Nope, because uh, the game hasn't come out yet. This is Jovial. And that's literally the whole thing, and it just loops. <laughs> oh, Skiddo. But Skiddo, though. But Skiddo. It's better than Wild Encounter. Am I going to put it above Oak's Lab? No, I'm not. I'm not, but I definitely like it more than the Kanto bike theme. And I, I'm not going to apologize for that. We're going to go for Mother Beast Lusamine. It's villainous. It's alien. Sun and Moon had something going on with their... Whoever's in the studio was going crazy in Sun and Moon. It's so menacing. Hmm. Just a little between your left and right ear. They had somebody going hard for that theme. I gotta give it respect. I gotta give it respect. I'm gonna put it somewhere in A tier. Maybe it's just because I haven't listened to it as much, so I'm not as familiar. But I, I do think that somebody really poured their heart and soul into that one. So, respect. Okay, this is the Crown Tundra theme, guys. The Crown Tundra. Something I didn't buy, because guess what? There's no need. Sword and Shield's trash. Here we go. Mysterious. Whelming. When does the song start? Oh, the pan flute. Wait a minute. I'm glad I stuck around. Okay. All right. All right, so, so initially I was skeptical. Initially I was like, okay, easy C tier. 
But after thinking about it a little more, uh, I think it is. I think it's right underneath Geo Singe Town for me. I think it's. I think it's just okay. I think it's good. I think it's kind of middling, especially considering the song takes so long to start up. But also, like, I can't fault that because it's literally like, you know, an entire section of a game trying to be a song. So I can't fault it. It's not like one trainer. Like, it's an entire, you know, DLC pack. So. Oh, yeah. I think it's good. For Kanto music, especially, maybe because it's like a remix of Johto, kind of. It just is Azalea Town. We have Azalea Town. We can go directly to Azalea Town. Uh, let's go right to Azalea Town. Uh, this is also Blackthorn, technically. It is just Azalea, huh? I feel like it's not right to listen to one without listening to the other. All right. So here's the thing, is that this, if the two songs are the same, and they're just in different sound fonts, and one's like six years later. And this is before Johto was re-released as well. So this is the, one of the first times Johto came back. Uh, I think I like it. I like it more than Wild or uh, Victory Road. I'm going to put them together because I don't feel right putting them apart. Because I respect what Fire Red Leaf Green was trying to do. It's so different. It's so good. I think the reason that people rate Ho-Oh so high is because of the build-up to it. It's not very... You're right that it's not long. The I think it's the story and sort of like... I'm not going to say it's S-tier because it is very short. But something about it just gives me like really, really good vibes. I'm going to say it's the very bottom of A-tier. Okay. Oh, we're going back to Hoenn. Back to Hoenn, and this is a viewer suggestion. I think the Oras theme actually does sound better, because it balances this part a lot lighter. I just, I love the harp, or whatever the f*** that is. It's not the harp. I don't know what it is. I'm not, I'm do I don't, music. I like this more than the Crown Tundra, but I think I can't put it any higher than that. Victory Road in Sinnoh. Ooh, spooky. So my biggest issue with this song doesn't strike me as Victory Road. Mark nailed it on the head. If this was like the theme that you came in to like Oriber Gate and heard, I'd be like down. But this is literally the final dungeon. It's it's treacherous and spooky, which I'll give it. All right, uh, I'll put it above Peony. I'll put it above Peony. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I guess we're here, huh? I guess we're here. <laughs> I guess we're here. Boys, we did it. We made it. We made it. We did it. I can't. I can't. It's so jazzy. It's not even because it's a meme. It's just so fire. We're going right to S+. Plus. It's going right to S+. Plus. I just, it's so good. I don't even need to explain it. Yeah, okay, all right, next. <laughs> next. And the way it loops back into itself is so clean that you kind of forget that it loops. We're listening to the rival battle in Kalos right now. This is Pokemon Showdown. Yeah, the guitar is really good. Okay, and I, I've heard the entire song. Um, 
multiple, multiple times. So I'm not going to play very much of it. I feel like it's better than Sycamore. It's standalone really, really good. You, like, you don't need to say like, oh, you know, this represents Kalos. Like it doesn't. It's just a good song. Park. This is better than the Kalos Elite Four, I think. Hokulani Observatory. I bet you guys don't remember this place. Wait. Wait, you're kidding? You're joking. Wait a minute. Wait, this is actually a banger. I'm going to put it mid A. I don't think it can go any higher than that, though. I don't think it's as good as Sycamore. Sycamore is the gatekeeper, man. If it's better than Sycamore, it's S tier. But Sycamore is so iconic, I can't. I, I, think it's, I think it's A. Especially considering it's not very memorable. Striking me like that is not easy. Oh, f guys. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're just going to elevate that real quick. And then we're going to listen to maybe like 30 seconds of it and call it. Does that sound good? That sounds good, right? Does it sound good? Are you all right? This song single-handedly saved Sword and Shield. Single-handedly. And I might be basic and I do not care because it's incredible. It's it's just, it it is, it is so good. It's the, one of the best gym themes in the entire series. Probably the best one. And I love the meme with the guy just going crazy. Oh my god. Uh, it's it's so easy. It's so easy. S plus. It's not even funny. Let's move on. See, this is like gives me Victory Road Sino vibes. Except it's the first dungeon, so it's correct. You know what I mean? Yeah, and even little like this part is treacherous and actually makes you feel like you might be in danger. I think just out of spite, I think it's going to go above uh, Sinnoh Victory Road. This is exploring around Johto. Well, it's not just the Lake of Rage. It's Route 42. Route 42 is the Lake of Rage. I'm going to put it above Kanto Victory Road. <laughs> yep because it's definitely better than route 47 and i don't think it's as good as azalea town and definitely not as good as like the wild area or you know anything above it and pretty much everything above it is just like ridiculous ever grand city ever grande whatever the hell you want to call it This is suggested by a viewer as well. I thought this was going to be an easy A for me, but I'm feeling like it fits more in B somewhere. I think I'm going to put it between Wild Encounter, Sun and Moon, and then Elite Force in Y'all are hatching eggs in Salation, and you guys have heard this a million times and probably don't even know it. The guitar goes crazy. I don't think it gets old fast necessarily, but I respect it, of course. Um, I'm going to put it at the very bottom of A. The very bottom. Yeah, this is the Alder Champion theme. Slapped you in the face, didn't it? The thing
thing about Mr. Alder is that you've already beat the game. The credits have already rolled. Uh, you fought N, which has a slapping theme. You fought Getsis. You have to go all the way back through the Pokemon League, listen to their sick themes. And then you get to this, and you're like, well, it's it's not climactic. It's a little too high energy. It's not as bad as Cyrus. I think we found a new top of C tier. I think Cyrus has stopped being the gatekeeper. This is also a viewer request. It's really good. It's Snowbell City. Snowy France. It's really good. All right, guys, what do you think? Better or worse than Sycamore? Because it's going in A tier somewhere, but I just can't, I can't figure out where. All right, we're going to leave it below Sycamore. Uh, Alolan Elite Four. All right. The Elite Four of Alola which is just the kahunas and also a golfer. Wait a minute, are you kidding? Oh, that's even a sample? Okay. Has it just not dropped yet? Am I missing something? Was this the drop? I've given it almost two minutes. Uh, the beginning started off super good, but I gotta say, like, not having, like, a hit, like, a serious hook, kind of makes me feel like nothing's happening during the battle. Okay. Zashian slash Zamazenta. Even though I absolutely hate the shit out of Zacian. I don't like this theme because there's another version of it that I like way more. And in fact, I think this high key sucks. Do I like it more than the Wild Encounter Sword and Shield theme? I want to say, I'm going to say yes, because you only need to hear it once per playthrough. <laughs> it is, it's just the Lake of Rage, huh? All right, Lake of Rage is Route 42. Then it's going right underneath it. Nope, but maybe, but, but maybe, but, but not right now. I don't know. Something about Johto route themes really don't hit. Yeah, it just is. That's a really good place to put it. I, and they're literally stalling for time in the song with the little dun 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 dun. Very bottom of C for me. Because it's worse than the bug catching contest, and it's worse than Reflection Cave. This is the contest hall, somewhere I've never spent any time in. Like, seriously? They really just decided, like, hey man, contest sucks, so let's just make the theme song go hard. I think it's I think it's a B tier. It's better than the rival battle, it's better than Wild Encounter. It's probably right underneath the Sinnoh Elite Four. But I think it just doesn't have the same stakes, you know, because it's like a lobby theme, you know? But for what it does, it does it really well. Okay. Alright, guys. Alright, alright. So this is alright, I'll just show you. Cynthia. It's time for Cynthia. It's time. Honey, wake up. Honey, wake up. Cynthia's here. Yeah. 
There's a reason it's so good. Yeah, the piano leading up to it's really good, too. This theme is made better because Cynthia is so difficult for, like, younger people, younger players. I think it's bottom of S+. Plus because this doesn't even include, like, the piano leading up to her. But Cynthia's theme... It's a staple of the Pokemon community, so I'll, I'll give it I'll give it credit where credit's due. The Marine Tube, I know. I also kind of have never spent any significant amount of time in here, but it was viewer suggested, so. I don't know if it's my vibe necessarily. I see what they're going for. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think I'm putting it right next to Underwater Hoenn. Actually, I'm going to put it right below Underwater Hoenn. No, no, I'm going to put it even lower than that. I'm going to put it right before uh, Kanto Route 10. I don't know. It annoys me a little bit. I don't know what it is. Uh, X and Y's Victory Road. It just does everything that Fire Red and Leaf Green does better it has the same climactic drum march except it's just so much better quality and there's so many more pieces this feels like a victory road theme unlike Sinnoh okay uh, I think I'm going to put it above the Kanto victory road because they do have pretty like, Kanto's a little more harsh, definitely. Uh, I feel like I don't even have Black and White's Victory Road on the list. And that's just because there's so much good music. Ooh, okay. So, guys, this is... This is not the Team Skull battle. This is a Team Skull encounter. This is when you see them in the overworld. And they're just doing their, like, you know, hand... That's, that's what this song is. No other evil team on their arrival makes you feel like Team Skull does. Guess what? I'm going to put it underneath Mother Beast, but above Route 113. I... I can't say it's like something I'm listening to over and over and over again. It, it it does it makes you feel the way about the team that you're supposed to feel. Let's go to Galar. Let's go to Galar. Bal and Leia. Okay. Uh I remember liking the look of Bal and Leia. Do you remember how Bell and Leia sounded necessarily? It's kind of, it's mellow. It doesn't like hit, but it's not necessarily supposed to hit. It's a little mystical. It might be C tier. It's not really like memorable at all. I'm still going to put it above Pallet Town though. Still am. The Canto SSN, which I believe to be actually not that bad it's such it's such like a prissy like rich people party sounding i don't know so oh yes you made it on the boat as well oh oh that's pretty good I don't remember liking this as much as... Okay, you know what? I think I think that's actually pretty solid. Mid, mid B. I liked it enough. Pretty good. Yeah, below Azalea. It's not as good as Azalea. And it's not as good as the Victory Roads. I think it's actually just above Snowpoint. I think it's just above Snowpoint. And in fact, you know what? 
what have I kind of seen as the cutoff for B tier? Because I might just start moving a couple things down. All these guys. P and E is going to be the new head of C tier. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. If we need to move some more, we'll move some more. But I think that's fine for now. This might be a Hoenn song I don't rank insanely high. So don't worry, guys. My Hoenn's not going to overwhelm you. This is Route 101. For what it is. You know, for what it is. See, the problem is, is that it's Route 101. You know, it's not climactic. It's not interesting, necessarily. I do think I like it probably less than Iki Town, but more than Reflection Cave. I think I like Hyena Desert a little bit better. This is the Distortion World, uh, obviously, from Pokemon Platinum. Is it music? Great question. It's on the soundtrack. <laughs> it's on the soundtrack, dude. Okay, we're putting it in D tier. <laughs> um, do I like it? I like it more than Mah... No, I can't say I like it more than Mahogany Town. That's not fair. I can't even say I like it more than the Skiddo theme. I really like the Skiddo theme. I recognize it's D tier, though. It's not even really music. I I'm putting it at the bottom. No, it's not Guzma. It's not Guzma yet. It's Colress, okay? It's it's Team Plasma's Colress. I like Colress as a character so much. It's so unique. And the countdown. Wow. I think this is also a viewer suggestion, but I would probably include it anyway. All right, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna put it above Challenger Hal, but lower than Verbank. Sorry, Colress, I really like you a lot, and your theme is very unique. I like your team, I like everything about it. See, this sounds like something you could listen to over and over again. It's better than Sword and Shields. It is definitely trying too hard. I could agree with that sentiment. But Kalos used a lot of, like, guitar. They really did. I think I like it better than Sun and Moon, but I, because they're so similar, I don't think I could put it over anything else, though. I don't know. I'm not a fan of really wild encounter themes. I think it's worse than everything above it yeah yeah i'm fine with that i'm sticking with it it ain't no thing let's go to paniola ranch where some of you may have hatched some eggs wait this is paniola ranch oh oh i was thinking of pokey ride never mind I think I I think I like it. I think I like it. But I don't think I like it any more than C tier. Where are we at? Uh oh, Hop's final battle, which is actually slightly different. Not slightly. It's significantly different from the regular Hop battle, I think. Um cuz I I made sure to listen to both of them to make sure that they're, you know, not also shout out Hop having this like squinty eye face. <laughs> Yeah, all things considered, it's not incredible. I think that uh, Shukabuku kind of nails it on the head here. I think it is pretty much a C-plus battle. This will bring back memories you didn't even know you had. This is also not red, blue, and yellow. This is fire, red, leaf, green. Yeah. 
you know what I think that this does that other wild encounters don't do is it makes you feel like you're battling like a wild animal. Like it makes you feel like you're kind of in nature um, as compared to like Kalos, which is just going hard for no reason. You know, like the Pokemon aren't shredding on the guitar. It's a little more like ranchy. It's a little more like, you know, outdoorsy than that. So, all right, Radito, your face is right in the middle of B. The wild battles, that's how I compare them. That, that's it. That's it right now. It's champion Lance and also red from Johto, but I don't have that uh, on here. This is really good. This 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 is classic Pokemon. This is like this is Pokemon. That in the background too. Yeah, yeah, it's S plus tier. It just it has the vibe of Pokemon. I think I also like it more than Cynthia's theme. I don't know if I like it more than the top the top three, but I think it's also, I think it is an easy S plus. Like it sounds exactly like Pokemon sounds like. If you had to choose one song to like summarize the entire series, that's it. Any questions? I think the best part about Mount Coronet, guys, is that it can do all three things. It can be an early game route-like cave that's mysterious. It can be climactic end game. It can also be like mid game. And you pass through it a bunch of times. And it's also a dungeon. It's less iconic than a turn of forest, I think. This part, Climactic. Insane. It's better than Sycamore. It's better than Sycamore, so it's going to nest here. It's insidious. I'll give it that. You might just chuck a Master Ball, though. Oh no, you can't. Black and white too, you have to kill it, right? You have to actually battle it. Which is awesome. Yeah, I can't say I'm a fan. It definitely kind of bounces a little too much. It's got to be worse than Cherry Grove, though. It's better than the Distortion World, but I think it is a D tier. Pokeball Factory. This one, I feel like is underrated. It kind of gives me Hokulani Observatory vibes. So that's where I'm inclined to put it. I'm inclined to put it in A tier because I think it's like really solid. Ooh, okay, this is the regular Lusamine theme. And it is good. At least A tier, already. Do I like it more than her Mother Beast theme? I think so. I think I do. I think I'm gonna put it above the Alola Elite Four in A tier. Is there a song here? Oh, wait. Hold on. I was glad I didn't X out. I was going to plop it in D tier um, just immediately, but I think that it picked up. Well, one, it picked up too late. But uh, I do think it's at the bottom of C still. I think it's better than Reflection Cave, but 
Everything above it's better. It's all right. Again, it's trying to encapsulate a whole DLC section, so it, you know, it's kind of got a, a big job. One of the better town themes of Kanto, for sure. Uh, it's A, B somewhere, definitely. Definitely not C. I think I do like it more than Violet and Olivine, but I like it, I like it less than the Victory Roads. It's just kind of like, yeah, it's all right. Not much going on. Do you want to learn how to catch a Pokemon? Here's what I'm going to do for Route 29. Uh, I think I like it better than route 101 i don't know also not the biggest johto fan i like the aesthetic um but they're <laughs> johto's the worst region i'm just gonna say it y'all can disagree y'all can go for it yeah this is good I can hear the zigzagoons now. It for sure is A tier. It's probably above Slateport, but I think it's underneath the Pokeball Factory and Hokulani Observatory. I think it is. Disrespected in BDSP, but... Chuck your master ball, boys. Just chuck it. Just do it. It's already... Battle's over. GG. I like the piano, definitely. Better than Ho-Oh? I can't give it that. Maybe it's just the instruments I like better for the Ho-Oh theme. It sounds cleaner. Dialga Palkia just doesn't... doesn't sound like it hits. I don't know. I, I think it's bottom of B, personally. Imagine this theme, and then having to go up against a Zekrom. I think it's above Little Root. It's, it's really good. And it's super climactic, and it's super, oh yeah. Hold on. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, and I forgot. I forgot, and You are king. You are king. All right, now we're going from the tip of the top to something that actually nobody's going to give a about. It's Kalos Route 2. Sorry, guys. I can't. It's even worse. No, it's better than the Sword and Shield encounter. It's better than the bike theme. Maybe it's because it came right after End's theme, but I just, I couldn't do it. It sounds menacing, actually. Oh, right, and it picks up. I literally forgot. That's actually really sick. They, it sounds important, which I appreciate, because it should sound important. But then it gets friendly? I think it's... It gives me very... How rival battle vibes. It's good. It's a little too, I don't know, maybe a little too lighthearted. This is this is a Galarian house theme. You ready? It's actually kind of nice. 
It's actually kind of refreshing. Best rival theme in all of Pokemon? You gotta be like eight, right? Because I, I can't I can't say it's best rival theme. May and Brendan exist. Barry even exists. It's better than Sharon and Bianca, though. At least Sharon and Bianca. All right. I'll give him. I'll give him respect. It's actually pretty good. It is pretty good, though. And you know what? I'm willing to put it in A tier. All right. All right, Hop. I see you. I, I enjoyed that more than I uh, thought I would. It sounds spooky. I like this more than the original Lavender Town. I do not care. I don't care at all. It feels like you're walking through a freaking tower of dead things. It really does. I think it's it accomplishes the spiritual kind of vibe. I think I'm gonna put it above Solgaleo and Lunala, though. I mean, this is what I grew up with, so I'm a little biased. Of course. We might need to do a little rearranging. So here's the thing. I like it more than can't. I like it more than all of them. I do. So that's where I'm going to put it. <laughs> what are we talking about? Ooh, 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 ooh. Galactic Commanders. If we put Galactic Grunts in A tier, or maybe it's even an S. It is an S. I think this is better than the Galactic Grunts. I'll put it behind Deoxys because I think it's, I think it is ridiculous. I think there's just a lot of love poured into it. And also like, I don't know, it's better than Cyrus. So I have to give it points for that. at least going in S. At least. I like this part a lot. How it kind of just slows. I just like how they start messing around with the pace of it. I think it's an S tier. Uh, I am reluctant to put it in S+. Plus. Uh, despite being just super solid. It's the boutique theme. What is up with clothing shops in Pokemon games? Going so hard. It's so good. It's so it's it's a loop, but like just the uh, it's S. It's an S tier. All right, go. Oh, it's your boy. Oh, it's your boy. It's your boy, Guzma. Skull, huh? Team Skull. It does go hard as sh I just like the beginning part of the song so much. No, I don't know. I don't think I can put it in S+. I think I can put it over Deoxys. And that's as far as I can go with it. 
All right, guys, the, here's a stinker, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this theme actually just sucks. I think it's just, it's just, <laughs> we're going to find out. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, but it's Eternatus. Nah, you're done. Eternatus, you're cut off. Uh, okay, that's a that's an easy D tier. I like how Mewtwo-esque it sounds. Like, I can hear his cry. You know? And it is just the wild battle theme. But it's, like, pitched up and kind of alien-ish. I think it's a little bit better... And I am going to put it right by the Wild Battle Canto because it is very similar. And uh, does Lugia live up to the same hype that Ho-Oh does? Let's find out. I like the bubbles. The bubbles in the very beginning are cool. Definitely don't like it nearly as much as Ho Oh. I can say that right now. Okay. Alright, that's enough of you, Lugia. It's pretty B. It might even be kind of C. I'm gonna put it underneath Hop, um, but above the regular Sword and Shield trainer battle. She's got a mega mens. It, it might be overrated. It might be. That's just fair. I think that's enough Zinnia. I feel like she's good. I'm not going to be like, oh, Zinnia is the best because like, you know, she's A tier somewhere. And I think I like it better than the Johto Rocket Battle. Feel like I can't stick her any higher than that though. Route 209. I can picture myself riding on my bike. Taking six steps and having to go to Salation and then going to Route 210. Now we have Route 210 at the bottom of A right now. Now is there that distinct of a gap between 210 and 209? I like 210 more actually. Even though Route 209 sounds really epic, there's not a huge gap between the two of them. So I think bottom of A is actually like totally fair. But this is Suicune from Heart Gold Soul Silver. I'm pretty sure Suicune is different than Entei. It's different than Raikou as well. Yeah. Okay. It's not up there with Hello. I'm going to put it above Slateport, but I'm going to put it underneath the Hoenn Trainer battle. That part might have gotten me. Might have convinced me. It can, it's it's right up there. It's right up there with uh with Ho-Oh. -Oh. It's close. It's close enough. Rustboro slash Maws Deep right now. Also, I think it might be Mauville. I think it's Mauville as well. It does a town theme, you know, it's it's alright for a town theme. It's not spectacular. 
It's relaxing. I think it's right around mid B. I was gonna put it lower, but then I thought about Violet City and Olivine City. I like it slightly more, but I think this one just hits home with me. This doesn't hit me in my feels like Little Root does. Not that it's bad by any means, because obviously it's it's pretty good for a starting town theme, I think. It's very small, very quaint, you know? I'm just trying to think of where I want to put it. Better than Tundra and better than SSN. I'm going to stick it right by Geosinch Town. Ah, this is one I like. Okay. I like the, this wild theme might be my favorite. This one might be my favorite overall. I, I don't feel right having the wild battles not stuck together. But they're all kind of one note, so it kind of makes sense to have them all in like the same-ish area. But I think it's my favorite of the wild battles. This one's called... <laughs> Imagine I'm a, I'm a guy at a bar, okay? I'm a guy at a bar, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to perform, right? This goes out to my, uh, my lovely girlfriend. It's called Terrible Past. Floette, it's been 3,000 years. You guys can say what you want. The Pokemon War? Do you dare like it more than emotion? I do. I do. I think it's sadder. And I, I think that, in general, I, I definitely do like it more than emotion. I definitely do. I think that X and Y really created something just huge with AZ in the Pokemon War and then completely abandoned it. <laughs> and then actually, like, just did terrible, terrible things with it. Because I think AZ is, like, one of the most interesting characters with one of the most interesting backstories in all of Pokemon. And they have just... They just butchered what they could have done with X and Y. And it's always so upsetting every time I think about it. Um, this is... I believe. Melee Melee Meadow, Diglett's Tunnel, and Mahalo Trail. Oh, yeah, it is. Alright, I've heard enough. This is where... I think I like it less than Hyena Desert, but uh, more than Bal and Leia. This is Mario Kart. This is just the Mario Kart Wii menu. Which I like. This is, just sounds like a Mario Kart song. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing. Mario Kart has great tracks. Oh, it's so silly. It's silly because I like it. And I think I like it because it sounds like Mario Kart. I'm going to put it right above Mount Moon. Right above Mount Moon. Because I, I do like the Mario Kart feel it has. We can do Hue as well. Mm. I mean, it is, it is peak Hoenn. I'll give you that much. I'm gonna stick it right with Slayport City. 
because they're back to back. Raihan, there he is. That's my dude. That's my guy. Best character in Sword and Shield, hands down. I don't care. He is the best. He's my favorite. I like it overall less than the gym theme. I think it's above the Alolan Elite Four. I think it's better theme than that because it stays hard the entire time. I don't think it's as good as Lusamine or anything above it. But the, the difference between the regular gym battle and the Elite Four is for sure like 20 spots. Absolutely. This is Showdown. Way better than Bianca and Sharon. Way better. I like it better than Hop, at least. I mean, Black and White 2 are the best Pokemon games of all time, so. I was like, it keeps climbing. It, it just kept going. I think, I think I'm content with putting it in low S. Um, right around Rival Battle with Kalos, because I feel like both of them carry the showdown energy. Uh, also, I really like Hugh. Some people don't like Hugh and like the BW2 rival, but I, I like him a lot. I think he's really interesting and also has a sick design, so. Recommended by a viewer as well. Is it higher than like the Peony battle or Hop's final battle? It probably not. There's so much good music in Pokemon. I have trouble putting this like super duper high. But is it as good as like Route 210, 209? No. It's probably somewhere in B tier, I think. I think it's my favorite Kanto Route song. I think that's a pretty good spot for it. It definitely is the best of all the Kanto Route themes, so. I would say I like it more than, I like it more than Route 42. I think it's a fair spot for it. It, it gives off the same Johto energy that Route 42 does, um, but I definitely like it less than Azalea Town overall. I do definitely like it more than just like your average wild battle theme as well. So going all the way to Mount Pyre, that is very exciting. I remember Mount Pyre actually being super good. Yeah, yep. It's creepy. Very climbing-esque. Reminds me of, like, climbing something. I think Oras did this theme justice. I think they did a good job. It gives me the same kind of Pokemon Tower vibes, but I definitely like it more. Maybe I'm overrating it, but... Pokemon Tower is in A tier. I think I'm gonna stick it right above the Pokemon Mansion, actually. All right, Wild Battle Sinnoh. I gotta say that of all the Wild Battle themes, I don't exactly love it. I think I like it more than Bal and Leia. Maybe it's possible that I've just like heard this theme too much. And maybe I just think of like Mount Coronet constantly running into everything. Um, but I think that's a pretty fair spot for it. I definitely, yeah, I think this is a good spot for it because Mahalo Trail, well, yeah, yeah, it's a fine spot. I don't care. I don't care. My brand may be uh, slandering Sinnoh despite me agreeing that Platinum is like one of the goaded Pokemon games, uh, which I will never disagree with. Platinum is obviously super sick. One of the worst champions of all time with one of the best themes of all time. It's Iris from Black and White 2. As she bodies your team with all her dragon types, this plays. Again, it's got the same kind of how theme. You know, it's like friendly-ish.
Yeah, it, it for sure has Challenger Howe vibes, but I think I like it less than Challenger Howe. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time. I think it does pick up. I think you're right. I think I'm gonna stick it right underneath Kahuna Battle and between Howe. I think that's that's a pretty fair spot for it. It's not the best champion theme. Team Flare. Oh, the regular Team Flare battle theme. Okay. X and Y music, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is really good. Like, Team Flare sucks. Probably the second worst team behind Team Yell. Or in front of Team Yell. So I don't like Team Flare. But I gotta give him credit. Alright, I'm gonna put it over Slateport. But behind Route 110. And then you see all of his stats sharply rise and you're like, oh no. This is at least S tier. At least S. I'm just gonna drag it up here. Yeah, and it drops a little bit for sure. I think this might fall above the commanders. Right next to Deoxys, I feel like is the correct spot. And this is Piers. His lips are moving, nothing's coming out though. But his theme? I might not like him or how they did his cutscene dirty. But I do think this goes a little hard. What I'm going to do for Piers, because I'm feeling nice. I'm feeling a little nice. I'm feeling a little generous. He's good. Maybe if he is A, he's at the very bottom of A, though. But I definitely like a lot of the stuff above it way more. That could just be, like, nostalgia bias as well. Celadon City. Fire red leaf green sound font. Can't say I love it. I mean, you if you guys have ever played through Kanto, you know what it sounds like. I like it more than Pallet Town. I like it less than the Unova Rival Battle. And I like it less than Route 29. It might be Kanto Slander, but also it doesn't do anything special. It doesn't even really give, like, the vibe of the city. Like, maybe it does a little bit, but not... Not really. than Bal and Leia. That's all I can do. I don't think it's that good. I don't know. I don't think it sounds rough. I don't think rough is the word for it. I like the beginning of it, but definitely like more into the song. It's like, I don't know about that. Okay. It's the Hoenn Elite Four. If you guys know anything about me or about the Hoenn Elite Four, you know that it's an absolute freaking Even the Oras theme goes hard. It's it's just as good as the original. But it doesn't have the claps though, right? Alright, get on up there. Get on up there. I'm such a hoeing chump, dude. Yeah, there's no claps. It's kinda like a drum beat. I feel like I definitely like it more than the end final battle. Is this S plus? Am I willing to put it in S plus? Damn it, I think I am. I think I am. 
I think it's solid. I think it's so good. All right, all right. I'm gonna show you guys the meme. Hold on. This is the meme. This is this is just it. It's so fire. It's so good. This is all I can think about when I think about this song. Now that I've seen it. <laughs> I just think it's so good. The Carlton dancing or whatever the guy's name who plays Carlton. Like when the girl joins in, oh my god. Totally different vibe. Totally different. The beginning of the song kind of sounds like horse hooves. It makes it kind of feel like old. I'm gonna put it above snow point but below Ross Burrow. Because I like it a lot. I like its uniqueness, definitely. But I gotta say that it doesn't slap. You know, like, if you want to make it up here, you have to, like, be something you can listen to over and over and over again. Can't say I love it. It's okay. No, this part, this doesn't scream bike to me, right? But I, I don't think it's as good as Wild Sinnoh Battle. I, I don't know what it is about the... Maybe it's because all the other black and white music is so good. But that one doesn't feel, like, exceptional at all. Okay. Route 1 in X and Y. Didn't we just put Route 2, like, way down there? Yeah, we did. Oh, my God. I don't know what Route 1's going to sound like. I feel like I'm playing Mario Party and I'm selecting how many turns I want the game to be. That's not a good thing. I do think I do think it's D tier. It's only marginally better than Route 2. I remember this going actually kind of hard. This is just the paradise. This is not like um, Ether Foundation Trainer or anything like that. This is just literally the theme that plays when you're in the building. It's very... Mysterious. It's very like alien. I'm gonna stick this. I'm gonna stick this under Route 29, um, but over Celadon. Imagine you're a shiny hunter in Sword and Shield. And you have to listen to this five times every time you want to attempt a shiny. Just think about that. Think about how much this will just stay in your brain from the amount of Dynamax battles you do. Yeah, man, that's pretty down there. It's not It's not inspiring. It's not cool. Dynamax, in general, I am not a fan of, uh, nor do I like the raid style of it. It's not a D tier. I can't say it's a D, D tier song, but I think I'm going to put it right below the Isle of Armor. It goes a little harder than, like, Reflection Cave and everything below it. I, I personally don't like it. Game Corner Canto. all right i can't say it's incredible definitely not as good as the johto one or the hoenn one the worst of the three for sure we haven't ranked the other two the 47 second loop uh okay all right right above oaks lab no that doesn't seem right oaks lab is better than it
it sounds like something big is gonna go down. Even if it's just like a DS minigame, I think it does its job. I really do. I think it's between a B or a C. All right, for as simple as it is, I do, I do like it. Uh, but I do like it more than the Unova bike theme. But I think this Badoof face is a pretty, pretty solid like cutoff. You know, he's mid C, exactly mid C. Game corner of Hoenn. Ooh, that's great because this is a direct comparison. And this is one of the only times, guys, that this is going to be from Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, I believe, because there is no game corner in... Yeah, there's no game corner in Oras. It sounds like I'm gambling. It sounds like I'm gambling. <laughs> yeah, it's in Mauville. Yep. It's like down to the left. It's the purple building. You know, it's like on the cusp of being great, but it's literally only the game corner. And honestly, it might even like work as like a town theme song. I can't say it's any higher than uh, than mid B. Oh, this is definitely one of the better ones. This is definitely one of the better ones. There's not much to do on Route 1. One of the better ones for sure. Route 101 is pretty far down here. It's definitely better than Route 101. I can't say it's better than Lugia, but I will put it right below Lugia. All right, black and white route 10. All right, this is the one that I wiped on in Blaze Black. <laughs> Not that that's the reason that I picked it. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. I just remember getting bodied by that Magmortar in Blaze Black. That's all I think about. Veteran Carla. How did I know her name? I just edited that like a couple of days ago. Magma. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Magmortar is calling. I think I'm going to stick it right above Route 113. Looker's Sorrowful theme. Oh. Why is he sorrowful? What did he do? Wh what has happened? What happened to Looker, dude? There we go. Jesus. My Photoshop just crashed. I guess sad Looker was too powerful for Photoshop. I've literally never seen my Photoshop crash. That was insane. Some something about Looker, I guess, just did it. It was literally just a picture of Looker in a black box. And it was like, oh, I can't handle it. It is also strongly suggested that his Croagunk was killed during a case sometime in the past. R.I.P. Croagunk. R.I.P. Croagunk. Okay. He loses his memory. Yeah, poor poor looker, dude. Uh, that's not a permanent bottom of C. It's at least top of B. Behind Sinnoh Elite Four, but above that contest hall. Even though the contest hall is an absolute slapper. Oh! Yeah, this is, this is also a showdown classic. Yeah. Okay, at least B. At least B. It is a really good trainer battle theme. Then I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll put it over Solgaleo and Lunala, but underneath Relic Castle and Pokemon Tower. Okay, we're going to Winden. This is the Galar League. This is this is the big league. Whoa, 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 whoa. This sounds like a final town. Like a giant final city, you know? It's like you worked so hard to get here. And now you're gonna take it all. Take it all home. Now you're exploring the city. Okay, definitely better than at least the Galar Mines. Close to the bottom of B, I think. 
but I do like, remember we give points for if it fits like thematically, right? Like if it sounds like the town that it is, it automatically is doing its job. And we think that's pretty important, you know, stuff that doesn't fit goes a little lower, but I think this one fits pretty well. I think I like it less than the SSN. Um, but I think it does better than all of the ones below it. Oh, oh, okay, guys. This is not the rival battle theme, okay? Because in Kanto, the rival just has the regular trainer theme. You're trying to get to Bill. You can get the ticket to get on the SSN. And you get stopped. And you're like, huh, how come I got stopped? And then you just hear this. And you're like, God damn it, Gary. It's kind of, it is, it's, it's solid. I like it. It, it has this air of smugness about it. And I don't even know how it does it in only 44 seconds. Actually, even less than that. Like, I, I don't know how it's possible for a song, and maybe it's just because, like, maybe I'm, like, thinking about it nostalgically. How do they put so much, like, emotion and, like, smugness into a song in that little time? Uh, better than the Johto bike theme? But I can't put it over Azalea Town. Reshiram slash Zekrom. Let's see. This is versus Zekrom, technically. I'm not going to include both on the list. There's very slight differences. It's better than Dialga Palkia. Dialga Palkia is kind of not very climactic. I can't say I love it though. For a legendary? See, this part kind of sounds like a legendary theme. I don't know. It's better than Dialga Palkia. The highest I can go with it is above Snow Point. That's, that's all I'm willing to give it. Um, it's all right. It's all right. Obviously, you know, heroic legendary battle, yada, yada. But I don't think it's that impressive. I don't know. Maybe, like, from a production standpoint it might be, but I don't think it fits Zekrom slash Reshiram. But maybe I'm wrong. But also, it's my opinion. And that's just the nature of tier lists. Let's go to X and Y Route 4, which I believe to be much better than Routes 1 and 2. Pretty classic. Pretty classic route theme. It's okay. I mean, the production value is good, right? And it's meant to, like, ring in new Pokemon fans, so I get it. I'm going to put it right under the Poke or the uh, Pokeathlon dome. Yeah. Gladion. Ooh, we're on to Gladion, guys. I just like the little low slap of like, I don't even know if that's a bass. Ironically, I mean, I like it better than Lusamine. I think I'm gonna put it right under Zinnia. It's certainly good. This part goes really hard. Like this part's S plus, but some of the rest of it's just like kind of underwhelming. It, but you can, I feel like, listen to it for a while, so maybe that gives it some points. Is Sycamore really the gatekeeper, folks? Is he? Or does he deserve to be a little further down? Looking at some of the stuff underneath him, I have a tough time believing he's better. From Snowbell to Rocket Battle Johto, I feel like he's better than Sycamore. He's gatekeeping S, but meanwhile, he might be a mid-A. We're going to definitely do a little bit more rearranging, but I think i got to get Sycamore out of there. He has been too violent to too many songs, I think. 
Um, we're on to one that I personally don't remember being that impressive. This is Champion Leon. There's a better theme. The beginning, I think, sucks, but I think it builds a little bit. See, but, like, okay, the gym battle theme incorporated, like, the claps and the cheers, I think, way, way better. Not that it's bad. It's not bad. Better than Rashi Ram Zekrom, but I feel like not by much. All right, I'll, I'll give Leon a little bit of mid-B tier respect. All right. Now, this is also one of those things where Kanto doesn't exactly have a lot of music, so the gym and Elite Four themes are exactly the same. Just how hard they go on, like, the drums. And you know what? Th this song sounds like it wasn't made in the Fire Red Leaf Green, like, engine. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have that same, like, kind of dullness to it. Yeah, this is good. This this is this is a solid one. There's a lot of, a lot of love put into this. Honestly, guys, it might be an S tier. And, and I only say that because it's already at a disadvantage from just being the only like Game Boy uh, sound font we have on here. But I think it's I think it's that good. Like I could put it up with the Kalos and the Black and White Two Rival Battle. I think it might be the bottom of S, but I think I definitely like it at least more than National Park. So we'll actually just put it at the kind of the bottom here. Oh, I don't know. This one kind of annoys me, and I don't know why. No, it's not that bad. I feel like the beginning compared to other, like, openings to a wild battle is worse. Is it better than Twin Leaf Town is really where I'm at. It's not better than Route 11 or 12, I think. I'll put it above Twin Leaf in the SSM. Trumpets, man. They're so good. You know, maybe I don't like it as much as I thought. It's good. I'm not going to say it's not good. I think I've discovered where I want to put it. So, it's, it's in A somewhere. Yeah, we'll put it over Trainer Battle and Route 110. Yeah, that's that's pretty fair to me, I think. I think that's pretty fair to me. Mid A. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> the Sinnoh region's literally collapsing into itself, and the people in Sunny Shore are just like... Um... It's good. For a town theme, it's it's cheery, it's nice. I feel like I can't put it any lower than B. I like it more than Rustboro, but I think less than Violet City. I think that mid B is pretty pretty okay for it, you know. It's nothing spectacular, and Sunny Shore isn't exactly the most interesting. Actually, it might be the most interesting town in in uh, Sino. It really might be. Yeah, no, that's that's a fine spot for it. IMO. Okay, all good. G Unova Gym Battle. All right, this is the uh, this is the Blaze Black special. Okay, this is this is what we <laughs> listen to when we're fighting Berg. Especially combined with the, the low health theme, I think it's actually pretty good. It's, I like it better than Leon. It might actually be A tier. It might actually be A tier. I think I'm actually going to put it right underneath Hop. Kumarine? Kumarine? I don't know. 
It's the the one with the b- freaking lighthouse and boats and stuff in X and Y. Ooh. This is very, like, Animal Crossing-ish. There's so many um, Kalos tracks that I'm like, oh yeah, that's from Kalos, and that's a banger. Like, that's really good. I like the vibe this sets. I might even be A tier. I want to put it underneath Accumula Town. That's good. That's good town music. You know, it, it is. It, it makes you feel like you want to stay in the town, and I think that's all the town music really needs to do. All right, Molly City. I'm, this might be nighttime Molly City, or it might be daytime. I, oh, this is nighttime Molly City. Okay. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, this is the Johto Town. Johto Town. Day... You know what? We'll listen to the day theme. I... I think that's the, the tough part. Yeah, this is better. Yeah, the day theme is infinitely better. I like the slowness of the night theme, but I think that this one actually just... The pace fits the instruments more. I think it's better than the Kimono Summon. Or right below it. They sound very similar. Um, so I gotta, I gotta give it credit. Chairman Rose. <laughs> Chairman Rose. Guys, give it up. Best evil boss in Pokemon. Hands down. Easily. Cream of the crop. Top of the top. Easy S+. Plus. Easy S+. Plus. I can't even say I hate it. But like... If it wasn't Chairman Rose, if it was like an actual villain, <laughs> I feel like it'd be so much better. It doesn't fit him at all. I'm listening. I'm here. I'm here for it. All right, hit me with it. Your takes. That's what I'm. That's what chat's on the screen for. It's for your takes. Cause this part's really good. Listening for English, people say it sounds like Go Road Save Everyone or Go Road Save the Kingdom. That's great and all. We're And I, I don't want to dive into Sword and Shield's story very much because I will get triggered and this will take hours and hours and hours. It's the problem that it's attached to the terrible story. It's like climactic in a comedic way. It, it's, it has the same vibe to me as like the guys with the lightsabers that are doing like the Duel of Fates thing, where it's like the all women are queens, but then Duel of Fates is playing in the background. It feels parody-ish, but it's not. I think it's good. <laughs> Listen, like I hate Rose, but I can't deny that this is a sick evil leader theme. I think I got I got to dock it because it's connected to Rose, but overall it's a good song. If it was connected to an actual villain, I feel like I'd like it more. And I know that's not fair, but I, I don't care. Silphco, this gives you anxiety, ready? Something bad's happening. And it is GBA sound font, I know. It's a little hard to listen to. But, this part's really good. It goes hard for almost no reason. They did a good job. They did a good job with Silphco. Silphco. Better than Winden. Better than Hoenn. Better than Twinleaf, though. Better than Piers, the Rotom Rally, or Peony. Okay, I like it more than the Galar Mines, but less than the Crown Tundra. Pretty good. It's pretty good. It sounds like a battle. 
Go ahead and give it credit for. I like this one. I like the Johto Trainer Battle theme a lot, actually. Do I like it more than Iris? Or how? No. But I... Th well, maybe. I think I like it more than Motostoke. I'll put it next to how. You know what I'm talking about. If you were there, you knew. Without it, though... Pretty lame. I think it goes in C tier somewhere. With the panel flips, I feel like it goes maybe in somewhere in B. But without the panel flips, okay, it's right underneath the wild Sinnoh battle. See guys, I'm not entirely biased in Hoenn's favor, okay? Any 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 Sinnoh heads in chat? Any anybody who likes Sinnoh? Because this is this is it, guys. This this is your moment. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Fight for this one, guys. Fight for it, I'm telling you. The snow? Yep. Alright, so we have snow point in middle of B. We have snow bell at the top of A. Do we like it more than snow bell? Yeah, I think I do. But is it S tier? I think it, I like it better than Rocket Battle. I may like it better than Suicune. Do I like it better than Gladion and Zinnia, though? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I'll put it... It's the highest ranking route still. But I don't think I like it better than Gladion or Zinnia. It's more boss-like than some of the other ones. Yeah, and then it kind of dribbles off. Like when it... Yeah, that part makes it really good. It's at least... It's at least up here. It's either top of A or low S. I think I'm going to stick it in S. But low S. I'm going to stick it right next to the Kanto Gym Leaders. Because... It, it it encapsulates what a gym battle is, you know. It's like it the thing moves are happening. You gotta you gotta picture the the moves like the close combats hitting in your head, and like you know all, all these different sound effects that add to the theme, which I know is like a completely different way of looking at it. But combined with all that, like trying to pick your move as it's like dun, 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 like it's good, you know. It, it gives me fond memories. Um, this is just Route 1 of Black and White. Mm. I call more Pokemon than you. Two Pokemon? We have the same number. You want to take your first steps into the grass together? All right. I can tell you immediately it's in C tier. It actually might be a D tier. <laughs> it might be D tier, but I think it's the top of D tier. Xerneas slash Eveltal. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. And technically Zygarde as well. These legendaries actually slap. Say what you want about X and Y. The music. So good. This is at least S tier. And then it starts pushing. I mean, Xerneas, am I right? But Eveltal. I wanted to make sure we got to this part. I like it more than Ultra Necrozma. 
I can't say it's S+. Plus. The Vast Pony Canyon is actually... It might be goaded. It might be... Mm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll get there. Let's just listen to it. Whatever this beginning part is. <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't feel like you're at the end of your, like, trial journey until you get to, like, it's not an S+. Plus, but you don't feel like you're at the end of your trial journey until you get to this spot and you're like, oh, why is the music going so hard? I've decided where I want to put it. I think I'm going to put it below the Unova Legendary, but above Little Root. I remember, I remember getting this area and being like, this is so impressive. I don't know, maybe it's just the type of instruments, something about it I just love. This is a guy who is a guy. And his name is Mustard. It's friendly. It's not. He's not like the champion, though. He's got the dojo going on, the dojo theme. I like it, actually. I like it at least better than Verbank. It's not better than the Skull Encounter or Route 10, but I think it's better than Route 113. I, I don't know if it's just because I like the aesthetic of it. Actually better than I remember. I do think it's better than Celadon, but not as good as the Ether Paradise. Still low, still not very high up on the list, but I think I like it more than Celadon. The, okay, so this is the Kanto Gym theme in Heart Gold Soul Silver. It also doesn't sound like the OG Kanto theme. They were going hard with this one. We're running out of room on our list. It's hilarious. I think, yeah, top of A is totally reasonable because anything that's better than that deserves to be an S. And this is so sweet. I don't even like Verdant Earth Town. Like, I don't even like, I don't know, aesthetically. It's like, all right, it's boring, if anything. But like, the music... Uh, mid A. I like it better than Slateport. It's, it might just be nostalgia bait, but that's okay. I didn't even spend that much time in Verdant Turf Town. I just, I like it. You know, it's, it's a sweet little song. All right. You know him. You love him. But he might find you 10 million Poke Dollars. It's Barry or Assface or whatever the hell you named him. It's, it's not very impressive for a rival theme. It's not really menacing. It's just kind of like, eh, you know, like we're battling, I guess, you know, what's up? <laughs> it doesn't even like fit Barry's like crackhead energy either. All right, regular Unovan trainer battle.
I don't like it that much. I think it's better than Sword and Shield. I think I'm going to stick it right next to the rival battle, though. I think they're so, like, I don't want to say indistinguishable, because obviously they're different. But, like, they don't hit. It doesn't hit for me. Levere City. Okay. I'm pretty sure this one is the clock one. This is, like, the Mystery Dungeon one. Oh, no, it's not. Wait. For a town theme? Hmm. Kalos, you, you know, Kalos hits a lot. And this might even be, like, aesthetic and fit the town. First instinct is to put it in C tier somewhere. I think I'm going to put it just right above Fortree City. Daytime, Kony Kony. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for it. part's pretty good. All right. I like it mm, more than Azalea Town. Less than the wild area. Jesus. The list is getting so big, I'm having trouble moving stuff. I don't think it hits the same, like, feel as, um, there's two together that sound not similar. Mali City and, uh, the Kimono Summon. Battle? Okay. All right. Remember how I said how Leon did have like a quote-unquote second theme tower boss leon well it's not technically just leon but i don't know why they decided to go hard as shit on this one too it's to it's f toby fox you hate it stop that not not a toby fan that's okay because i am <laughs> Uh, guys, it might be S+. Plus. <laughs> I just, I love it. I love it, dude. I love that it's Leon. It's like, oh yeah, like me as a champion, this was nothing. Like here, here I am in my final form. I think it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I think I like Toby Fox a lot. Rocket Hideout. Ooh, 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 okay. Down font. Yep. God, I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I feel bad, but I can't. This is pretty good. It's pretty damn iconic. But I really do like what the song tries to do. Uh, do I think it's a better dungeon theme than Silph Co? No. But I think it deserves the same respect as Silph Co. All right, this is one that uh, people have strong opinions about, and I also have strong opinions about it. And maybe it's just because I love lo-fi, and maybe because it's just maybe the best song in Johto. This like encapsulates an entire region, you know? It's not as good as Mali or Kimono Summon. I don't think it's an A then. Or it might be the very bottom of A. It's underneath Mali, I think. But I think it deserves the same respect. And maybe it's just because I've listened to too much like lo-fi or like remixes of it, but that Critique City is something that always stands out in my mind as like a good piece of Pokemon music. It's not a slapper, you know, like a lot of these up here. Um, but for a town theme, it's pretty impressive. It's not the worst bike theme. I'm going to put it up in B, but it might drop to C.
I like it more than Underwater Hoenn. But I feel like I can't give it more than that. Um, we are on to Getsis. Or should I say? Getsis. Getsis. The final boss of Black and White is this evil motherfucker. Yeah. And the battle might take you a while as well, depending on how you're playing. And you're like, wait. This alone makes it S tier. It's your boy. Gets his. <laughs> I think because of the simplicity, like, I can't put it in S plus. Other stuff bops harder, even though it's not meant to be a bop. You know, you have to approach it differently. On the better side of route themes, for sure. Underneath the Sebi Isles and the quote-unquote Azalea Town, but before Route 42. Oh, the apparel shop? Guys, this... This is not, I don't think this is going to be a hot take at all. <laughs> You're shopping in Hawaii, man. And you're like, oh, this is pretty low key, you know? Not that crazy. The beat? Oh my god. Like, it's simple, but it's, like, so effective, you know? I, I gotta put it with the boutique, because I feel like I can't bump it any higher than that, because they do the same thing, but they do the same thing, like, really well. Ugh, you love Marnie? Really? Really? I don't know. I don't like Marnie and Bead that much. But let's let's take a listen anyway. You know, let's take a listen. Like, this is that's as good as the song gets, you know? Oh, actually, no, this song's pretty good. No, it's pretty good. I don't love it. I can give her I can give her another consideration. I think I like her maybe Maybe a little more than Hop. Is it better than Lusamine? I think so. Is it better than Johto Bat? Is it better than Sycamore? Ha ha! Ha ha. She can go over Lusamine. That's all she can do. The Safari Zone in Kanto. We found it. And let me tell you what we found. I just want you to take a listen first. Because I know exactly where I'm going to put it. You might be thinking to yourself, isn't this just what plays when a Pokemon evolves? Yes. Yes, it does. I'll tell you what we found. We found the worst song. We found the worst song in Pokemon. It is like eight beats and it changes key. And it's eight beats and it changes key back down. And you have to listen to it only for 500 steps. Thank God. Game Corner and Johto. Okay, this one's actually, I think, the best Game Corner theme. I think this is A tier. Looking at everything in, in B tier, I'm like, nah, this is this is on a different level. Yep. That's where it's going. The highest ranking game corner on the list. Meteor Falls aesthetically is just beautiful. Dude, 
It doesn't slap. It doesn't hit you in the face. But it... It does... Is it better than Mount Pyre? I don't think so. But it's it's in the same... It, it's the same peak of, like, area themes, right? So you got Mount Pyre and then the Pokemon Mansion. And I think that they're all fairly equal. The... I don't know, guys. I don't know. Oh, wait. That's the Wally theme. That's not. I didn't mean to move Wally. Hold on. Hold on. Wally in D tier? No, no, no. No, no, no. Is it worse than Oak's Lab? I think it's worse than the Kanto Game Corner. Is it as bad as Route 1 in Unova? This part's not bad. This part I can give credit to. But just how it starts drags the song down so much. Sino bike theme. I don't think it's D tier necessarily. Yeah, the later part doesn't matter. That's exactly the case, right? Like, because the the most times you're cycling in Sinnoh, you're just going from the top of Route 210 to the bottom of Route 209. And you're just trying to hatch eggs, like with the Salatian Town part, and you hear it for six seconds, and then you transition between the routes. Champion Diantha, the worst champion? Can I say I love it? I hate Diantha. Bad champion. We'll listen to a little more of this one because it is a champion theme. So obviously it has some, like, time and thought poured into it. This part's good. That part's pretty solid. Out of principle, she might because there's a lot of love in it. Maybe she does make it to A tier, but I don't think she goes very far in A tier. And in fact, she might be the gatekeeper. Tapu Coco, Lele, Bulu, Fini. What's your favorite Tapu, guys? Let me know your favorite island de deity. Whoa. This is pretty cool. I'm bobbing my head, you already know. I don't think it's S tier, but I like it. Better than the bike theme. I, it's been a while. Sogaleo and Lunala was one of the first ones that I ranked. So I feel bad because I don't remember it at all. I do remember the Sun and Moon regular trainer battle theme though. There's a lot of things to rank guys, but I'm going to keep it all kind of contained right there. The good Sun and Moon battle themes, uh, just right in this spot right here. Ooh, okay. So remember how Zacian and Zamazenta, they're all the way in Dudukaka, um, all the way down here? Well, there is another Zacian slash Zamazenta theme, and it's when you first meet them. Uh, this is the Illusion. I called it Illusion Battle. Um, this one's much better than their regular theme. And it, I think it just does Legendary better. And the setting fits better. And the howls are better. There are howls in it. No spoilers. That's like the howl, quote unquote. But it just sounds better. Somebody slapping the bass, you know? I like it. I like it substantially more. I like it more than Zekrom and Reshiram, definitely. No, not underneath Joey. I think I'm going to put it right underneath the Kahuna battle. Um, all right. Remember how I said Kanto doesn't have any music? Uh, yeah. Well, that's still true. This is the game opening. It expresses Pokemon well, you know?
That part's sick. I can picture the Charizard. I like it better than Pallet Town, at least. I can tell you that much. I like it better than Pallet Town, worse than Celadon. No, this is Mr. Pokemon's house. They literally live right next to each other, right? Or is the one above it a different route? Is that Route 31 above it? Okay, Route 30. Uh, I think it is equally iconic. Uh, it's actually better than Route 47. And I actually might shove it up there with Route 42. Sutopolis City. All right. This one makes me feel some things. It's all right. All right. I think that's enough Sutopolis. I do like Sutopolis. I don't like it more than Cerulean, I will say. So it's at least below mid B. I think Sutopolis City is at the very bottom of B. Oh, wait. Okay, wait a minute. The little, like, wisps in the background? Oh. Whoa. 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 I gotta say, guys, this one is slapping. Oh, when it gets bigger? No kidding. All right. All right, Stark Mountain. I literally was sleeping so hard. I don't think I knew what I was getting into when it came to Stark Mountain. This is great. This is OG Team Plasma from Black and White 1. This is not Team Plasma from BW2. I don't need to hear this for very long at all. <laughs> I played Blaze Black for so long. A whole month. This is probably... Okay, I'm not gonna play any more of it. I think that the Plasma themes, both of them, go ridiculously hard. It keeps the energy up the entire time. It's super good. I think Plasma lacks some personality. I don't know, it's pretty like medieval. But I know, I already know where I'm gonna put the Black and White too. Uh, plasma theme. Which, you know what? Honestly, let's just do it now. See, okay. So the reason that I think I like the plasma so much is because one is like kind of kind of heroic and like medieval but then neoplasma is so much more like schemey i don't know the way to put it this one neoplasma is easily i think both plasmas are s tier i don't even care actually i'm putting both of them in s tier and i think um are they better than stark mountain honestly no <laughs> i like Neoplasma better, I want to say. But maybe they're the gatekeepers. Maybe it's the two plasma grunts. Kalos Gym. Okay, Kalos Gym Leaders. All right, we've literally... I feel like we've almost made it through every gym leader. We didn't do Johto yet. Um, but Kalos does indeed have gyms. Surprise, surprise. Uh, even if you only verse them for like 10 seconds with your Mega Lucario, it does... They The game has gyms in it, I swear. And this is what the music sounds like. Is this going to be it? 
Okay, no. Oh. Oh, I didn't like how that cut back in. Hmm. The beginning's good. Okay, there's the guitar. You're already done with the battle. You're literally already done. You're Mega Lucario or a Sphered. The two Pokemon the gym leader has already. So you don't even get to hear any semblance. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's not very good. Is it worse than Wild Encounter, Sword and Shield? Oh my god, it might be. More repeatable than Sword and Shield, Wild Encounter? I mean, yeah, that's the, that theme sucks. Don't get me wrong. All right, that's all where I'll put it. I'll put it above that because you only have to listen to it eight times. Really. It's it's down in D tier for sure. I, I can't exactly figure out where. And then the actual battle, okay. Mm, there's a weird like beeping in the background of that. This isn't necessarily any better than just the sun and moon encounter theme though. It doesn't go nearly as hard as I think a totem battle could. It doesn't have like insane drums or I, I don't know. Something about it just kind of feels wrong. Okay, so I even think it maybe might be worse than the Wild Encounter because it's so offensive to be like a boss and then to have that theme. That's like Kanto principle, you know, like, oh, it's it's your rival, but he's just a regular trainer as well, you know? It's like, oh, this is a boss of an area, but, you know, it's just kind of a wild Pokemon. Like, don't worry about it too much. And then it wrecks you and the music doesn't even fit, so. You know what? Okay, fine. It, it's right next to it. It's right next to it, but lower because it's sad. Do you guys know what Postwick is? Because I don't. I'm obviously memeing, of course. I did my research, and I literally put together a tier list and the picture, so I know where the hell we're going. But uh, who in the f world remembers that this is the name of the starting town in Sword and Shield? Innocent. Oh. That's sampled from something. I feel like I could sit there and listen to like Little Root and I could listen to like Twin Leaf, Nuvema, you know, there's so many things that I feel like I could sit there and listen to. I feel like I could not stay in this area and listen to that song. Not as offensive as Gym Leader Kalos. Certainly not better than Black and White 2 Curum though. I have some things I want to say about Lavender Town, but we're just going to take a listen for 10 to 15 seconds, okay? <laughs> It's certainly recognizable. Lavender Town. Lavender Town, what can I say about you? You're unique. You're recognizable. Good might not be one of those words. But I feel like Pokemon Green's actually just, like, disgusting. Let's find out. Oh. Oh, God. People are going to hate me. I don't like Lavender Town. I think it's just not very good. It sets a tone, for sure. So I have to give it credit for that. But I think... God, is it worse than the Dynamax battle? Yeah, Pokemon Tower is way better. It's worse than the Isle of Armor. This is New Bark Town. I clicked on the wrong one. Yeah, this one's just, it's innocent, inoffensive, very homey, you know, your mom's making dinner, 
and you're playing with your totodile outside. Yeah, it's just... Oh, and that's so sweet. I like New Bark Town a lot. I do. And I'm not even a, a Johto head, you know? Do I like it more than Azalea? I like the Hoenn game corner more. I think I actually need to put it a little bit lower. I drop it behind the routes. Uh, okay, where are we at? Uh, route 104 in Hoenn. This, this is... Oh, Mr. Briny. What's going on? Welcome. I gotta get on your boat, man. I saved your wingle. Don't forget. Look at my footprints in the sand. This is the Game Boy Advance. This is nuts. Why'd this rich lady give me $5,000? I don't care. It, it is it is such a Hoenn theme. And let's see, where's 110? 110 has to be... Yeah, that's fine. Route 104 can be totally, totally the end of A tier. I think it's A tier. I really do. Uh, Sinnoh boys rise up. Sinnoh heads. Sinnoh Sino chat. Yeah, this is, this is so good. This is a really good legendary theme. Yeah, it's like all distorted. Yeah, this is really good. This is iconic. It's iconic. Not as good as these three above it. Not as good as Necrozma, Xerneas Eveltal, or Deoxys. I'll stick it behind the Unova Legendary. And I think that's fair. I just like how crazy it goes. It had the Unova Legendary, like, vibe to it before Unova Legendaries were even a thing. You could tell the direction they were heading in. Uh, black and white credits. It's slow, it's emotional, it's lull, but then you realize that you beat the f***ing game. And then this plays. And you're like, this is a game you just played. You enjoyed the crap out of it. This is an actual RPG that we made. Are you proud of us, Pokemon fans? Watch this. And maybe it's Blaze Black Recency Bias, and it very well could be. I think it's the best credits in all of Pokemon. I don't think I could stick it in S+, despite how it flashes on the screen being really hype. So I think I'm gonna stick it there. I don't think I could stick it in S plus for me specifically. Uh, Lysander, however, Lysander, one of the, how do I say the worst villains? Uh, he's really cool. He's really well designed, I think. Um, and his theme goes hard in the paint. The gun gets loaded. I don't, I don't even like X and Y, but this song, I don't know, some about it, it's so sinister. I'm trying to think if I want it in S or S+. Plus. I just think it's, it's definitely... It's at least up with Guzma. At least, at least up here. I like it more than the end final battle. I think it is. I think it's S+. Plus. I I think it's S+. Plus because I think it's the best they've ever done on a villain theme besides Maxi and Archie. Cocking the gun at the beginning of the theme actually just like shot it up the ranks. It sounds like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if it like kind of gets there. Oh, I'm glad I stayed. No, I'm not. Maybe I'm not. Especially considering that 10 Carat Hill is pretty, like, bland, all things considered. You know what I mean? Like, it's literally just, like, a cave and then just an open, grassy area. 
Like, why does it sound so alien? Like, like what's, what's the deal with that? And then I don't know what intern they hired to do that. Like transitional part when like the beat drops, is it a D tier theme? Necrozma appears there, but it's post game. Are you sure? In Sun and Moon only, yeah, because Ultra Sun and Moon, he's in Victory Road. Okay, that makes sense, because I don't think I played through the... I definitely didn't do the Looker side quest in Sun and Moon. Is it better than the Kanto game corner? I don't even think so. Sorry. Sorry, 10 Carat Hill. The beginning's awesome. Because it's like Marnie's theme, you know? So remember how Team Skull had like, you know, they were goofy, but they had their moments and like their themes were sick. This is just like wannabe Team Skull. They're like, oh, you know, we're loud or we're called Team Yell, you know, but it is just noise. It's terrible. Not only do I hate the evil team, I hate their grunt theme. Like, holy shit, that was, that was not good. Um, that was atrocious. And I actually wanted to stop listening to it immediately because I've been spoiled with great music so far. Ooh, 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 boys. It's Champion Blue. Now, holy effing sh**. You're here. It's Pokemon. It is Pokemon. It's climactic. It sounds so good. It goes so hard. The opening is sick. Everything about the buildup. For Fire Red and Leaf Green, this is a slapper. An actual bop banger. Do not care. Let's move on. And I don't even, that's not like nostalgia or anything. Like I'm not super nostalgic about Kanto specifically. Like, I'm nostalgic about, like, Hoenn and Sinnoh, kind of, even though it doesn't, even though it might not seem like I'm nostalgic about Sinnoh. Uh, I kind of am. Okay. It's actually kind of nice. Great work, everyone. Better than Mount Moon. It's better than the Crown Tundra. I think it's, like, kind of mid-low B. Not to say I don't like it, because I, I do like it. Um, you know, it, it sets the tone. It's not super difficult or climactic even, but it's it's a good dungeon theme. Rival Hoenn, I know exactly what it sounds like from all the times I lost uh, on Route 110. All right, so it's not going any lower than A. This part's cool. It might even go in S. If the Kalos rival battles in S. Man, I really, I really like this song. Oh, uh, it's it is nostalgia, but it's not. I cannot put it in S plus. I feel something physically wrong with that. It's it's in it's in S. It's it's very high in S. But I have to say that Guzma, Steven, and N I think beat it out. Salation Town. Now I can hear what this song sounds like in my head right now. Yep. How many eggs have I hatched? Never a shiny hunter. I just hatched a bunch of eggs because I wanted to see how the Pokemon, like, their groups, you know? This is before the internet was like a big, big thing. I like it more than Jubilife but less than Verdant Turf. That's where it's going to sit. Next. <laughs> this is the Unova Elite Four. This is absurd. It just keeps going. Nah, 
it's it's that good. It might be at the lower end of S plus, but it's it's ridiculous. Um, this is Mewtwo's battle theme from X and Y, um, which I have only done zero times total. Very alien experiment like. For sure, fits Mewtwo a lot better than the random Mewtwo noises that freaking Fire Red and Leaf Green did. And it kicks up. And it kicks up. I can picture how many Ultra Balls people have lost. They wasted it on Xerneas and Eveltal. <laughs> and they're like, oh no, I gotta catch Mewtwo. This is good. I don't think I realized how good this theme was. Maybe I just like Mewtwo a lot. Oh, that's respect. That's respect right there. All right, hell yeah, let's go. It's up here with the greats for sure. I like the build up. I like the references. Let's see what happens after this. And then it goes back. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Okay, I like it this much. That much, exactly that much, okay? <laughs> I like Kakui a lot. Um, you are the champion at this point. He's challenging you. Let's see what's up. It's a classic. Yep. Honestly, guys, I... Don't know how I feel about this as a champion theme. I like Kakui a lot too. I don't know. I don't think I like, honestly, that's a fair spot between freaking Barry and Leon. Because I definitely don't like it more than Barry. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It's subtle. Not a slapper. Mischievous. Foresty. There's a lot of fairies in the Glimwood Tangle. I think that does a good job. They took this track from Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. They very well could have. It does the same thing as Mount Moon, Rock Tunnel, and Victory Road. I don't know if I should dock it for it being simple. But I think I am going to put it I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to put it in C. All right. Viridian Forest. This goes well with the uh, Fire Red Leaf Green sound font. This makes use of it pretty well. I feel like I'm completely justified in putting it right next to Mount Moon and Rock Tunnel. Because it does the same thing. Yeah, we'll wait for the loop. Don't worry. This is another, like, this is obviously Pokemon. It's pretty good. That's better than Kalos and BW2, for sure. But actually, it might be S+. Wait a minute. All right, here's what I'll do. I'm going to stick it above Deoxys. And then I'm going to hit the pause button. Because we're going to order it anyway. I just want to make sure it's up there. We'll decide what S+, necessarily entails. Because there's obviously going to be some sort of cutoff. Um, we don't know exactly where yet, but I think that that's a fair spot for it for now. Because it is. It, it, it is. It breathes Pokemon.
which I, I do like. Pretty epic. Pretty epic. Alright, if I have Solgaleo and Lunala all the way up in A tier, this definitely goes above them. Close to the top of A. I think that's a good good spot for it. All right, um, Sino, 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 yeah, regular Sino trainer battle. This is a good one. Better than Sun and Moon? Maybe not. But maybe. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, I can at least say I like it enough to put it in mid A. This is a hometown right here, guys. This this is a this is a slam dunk. It's very homey. Very farm like kinda. You could listen to this for a long time. I like it more than Twin Leaf, at least. Which is a good metric. I'm gonna put it above Rustboro. But below Sunny Shore. Lumios City. Lumios City. You guys remember Lumios Station? Whatever happened to that? <laughs> Just kidding. I know exactly what happened to that. Um, we don't talk about old pokey uh, tubers, okay? It's not what we do here. We don't talk about the dark times when nuzlocks were easy. Alright, I'm putting it above Route 8, but not higher than Azalea. It's very similar to Iki Town. Very similar to it. And we have Iki Town in C. And you know what? I feel like it's not right to rank Iki Town. Because this is like the first city, you know? This is the first Kahuna. Not Kahuna, this is the first trial captain at least. It might be better. I feel like it's the exact same though. I can't I can't pick out any noticeable differences between the two of them. Viridian slash pewter city. It's not. It's not. It might be better than Celadon though. I gotta, I gotta just shove it right there. I'm gonna shove it right there and move on. Oh, a hitter? You're in this big city, man. It doesn't feel that big, though. But you're swinging. You're having a good time. You got your Qualava with you. You're walking down the street. I actually like it less than uh, Cerulean. I'm gonna put it down here. Mid B. Mid B for Goldenrod. Regular looker, not sorrowful. Okay, he's still happy. It's still Pokemon Platinum. It's so Ace Attorney ish. It's really funny. I'm gonna put it underneath Hina Desert, but before Glimwood Tangle. Uh, ends castle. Okay, now I got suggested like six N songs. Okay, I didn't. I don't have the bridge in here. Despite the bridge being good, I get it. I only wanted the castle or the castle bridge, and I decided the castle. This is very sinister. Very final dungeony. The chorus as well. It's pretty damn climactic. It feels like something huge has happened. 
it gives me those Mount Coronet vibes. But Mount Coronet does three different things. Ends Castle only does one. It's better than Marnie, at least. But we'll put it underneath Sycamore. Sycamore gate kept this one. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Uh, this is Kalos's friend's encounter. This is not a rival battle. This is when you're just in the overworld. It carries a good, a good energy, for sure. You can say what you want about the Kalos friends, but it definitely carries good energy. Commercial. It kind of sounds like commercial music a little bit, which is not necessarily a good thing. I'm going to stick it right above Goldenrod. Ooh. Yep. Does it do a better job than Viridian Forest? Or Mount Moon? A little bit. It's kind of on the same, uh, the same vibe. Actually, it's a little better than Underwater Hoenn. Beads theme. Oh, bead. You guys want to talk about bead for a second? Let's talk about bead, okay? Am I thinking of the right theme? Yep. Okay, yep, there it is. I was like, that's for sure it. You know, Bede's an absolute scumbag. So I feel like Bede would be the one to gatekeep A. I feel like Bede would be like superior enough to be like, you don't, you don't deserve to be up here, you know? So I'm going to leave him at the very bottom of S to peer down on those inferior to him. Yeah, this is good. They really made the battle themes specifically sound good in Fire Red Leaf Green, I think. All right, more than the Johto bike theme, less than, oh shit, it's Gary Oak. Okay. Kimono Girls, just the Kimono Girls theme. Again, very Johto. Very, very Johto. And this is the section of Johto that I like the most. I like the Ecritique, Bell Tower, Burn Tower. That's that's my... That's Johto, you know? Definitely not better than Champion Diantha. Dude, as we get further and further into this, it's like actually kind of ridiculous. It doesn't go insanely hard. I will say, just because of the instruments, though, I do like it more than Azalea Town. I'll actually put it down with Coney Coney. They kind of fit together. All right. Last. <laughs> the last Hoenn song. Now, somebody earlier said that this is the most divisive song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here's the thing, though, is that I'm not a hipster. Whoever decided that this little green-haired boy is going to get this crazy background with the flowers and the goddamn music. Oh my. Whoever decided this did a great job. They, I just think it's crazy that they were just like, listen, man, just like get on the guitar, start shredding. And then they were like, oh, sick. Like, is this going to be the champion theme? Like, is this going to be the Elite Four theme? You know, is this going to be like a gym battle? And they were like, no, no, no. It's Wally. And they're like, wait, that green-haired kid from from Petalburg that needed to catch a zigzagoon? And they're like, yes, go for it. And he was, the guy was like, all right. And he made that. Let's talk about the lake theme. I'm surprised it took us, like, this is all randomized. This is the lake theme of Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. 
I mean, come on. This is the Pokemon Lo-Fi theme. I love Pokemon Lo-Fi. I do. I think I'm going to give it, like, an insane amount of credit here. I think I'm putting it in an S+. Plus. That might... I don't even know if that's a hot take. I don't think it is. For all of you who say I hate Sinnoh, I really like Sinnoh. But the lake theme is just... It's iconic. It's masterful. You could just literally spend hours listening to it. The piano's fantastic. Yeah. Yep. The lake theme, I feel like, doesn't need any uh, explanation here. This is Showdown. But then the guitar? Okay, alright. This is usually against my rules. This is against the rules. Um, but I am going to listen to the rival theme really quickly. Yeah, they're they're equally as good in my eyes. They are, they are equally as good. I would not feel right putting Serena so high. Honestly, she's going above Serena. Which is insane, but also, I think, just true. Pokey Ride. Oh, yeah. Here we go. People hate this thing. This this is the same energy as Skiddo. No, I'm going to tear it. I'm going to tear it. I don't think it's that bad, okay? In fact... I'm going to put it underneath the Skiddo theme. Not that I'm appeasing the masses, but also I see why they could be construed as, like, annoying for that. Okay, last one. Last one is Hammerlock. And, uh, guys, I knew coming in. I knew coming in that this theme... Well, let's just take a list. I already know how I feel about it. I just want you guys to listen. I think it's terrible. And looking at all these down here, finding stuff that's worse than it, I thought that this song, besides the Safari Zone, I thought that the Hammerlock was going to be like the bottom of the bottom. But actually, after like ranking 239 songs, uh, I think Hammerlock kind of fits, yeah, the top of D. I think it's just the top of D because that's the, that's the gate, okay? This is the ultimate... Pokemon music tier list. It took us almost 11 hours, not quite 11 hours to kind of piece together. Um, a lot of the stuff is loose, but we do have a very nice order. Um, my favorite song in the entire series is the Maxi Archie battle all the way down to Guzma. We have um, specific things where, you know, it might fall off. If you guys want to make your own list or kind of, you know, have whatever, um, there will be a link in the description of this YouTube video. And yeah, feel free. I mean, this is just my opinion. You're more than welcome to have your own. I shouldn't even have to say that, but obviously the internet gets a little heated sometimes. But yeah, no, this was a lot of fun. It was really cool to go through and listen to a lot of different Pokemon tracks. I had a great time. Definitely a different kind of stream than what we usually do, but I think that it was well worth the sub goal. Despite the amount of work that went into actually creating it, creating all the icons and that sort of stuff, um, if you guys enjoy the content, you literally already know what to do. Just leave a like, follow us on Twitch, uh, comment. Comments are great. Comment more, for sure. And especially if you don't like something. Definitely comment if you don't like something. And you know, subscribe because uh, it's fun and free. So, I, for one, have been listening to Pokemon music for too long. Thank you all so much for watching. This was a great time. And, uh, yeah. Till next time. <laughs>